Good morning everyone. This is Vrishali. In our last sessions, we discussed about DDL and DML commands with practical demonstrations. I have mentioned that particular video's link and database management system playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session, we will discuss about the next topic that is SQL aggregate function. So basically in SQL, there are total five aggregate function like count, sum, average, max and minimum. So generally these all aggregate functions have work on particular columns in table and this aggregate function return a single value like count of the uh, data entry in particular table, sum of the column, average value of that particular column and to find out maximum or minimum value from the column means it return a single value or final output as per your problem statement and SQL aggregate function are also used to summarize the data. They summarize all this information or the calculation. Now let's see here. The first aggregate function is count. So count this aggregate function work on the rows in particular table. They return how many rows or how many data entry in particular table. It also work on both numeric and non-numeric data types. Now see here. So here I am using MySQL Workbench for the implementation purpose and I have already created the one table here. So we already discussed create and insert command in last session, right? See here, our table is student records 10. This is our table name and in this particular table, we have added there are total four columns like ID, integer type, name, varchar data type, branch, varchar data type, then marks is also integer type, right? means there are total four columns and table name is student record 10. So just execute this command. For execution purpose, we will use control shift enter. So our table have created, right? So suppose we want to display our table. So just use select command, select star from student records 10. Okay. So this command display the structure of table that we have created. Okay. See here id name branch and marks so after creating the structure of the table we will insert the values in that particular table see here insert into student records and values so there are total six students entries have there their id from one to six their name and their branch okay so just execute this command see here this command have executed now display our table see here so this is our table now we will perform our aggregate functions on this particular table, right? The first column is ID from 1 to 6. The second column is name. Okay. The third column is branch. There are total three students are from computer branch and three students are from IT branch. And these are the last column is marks. So three students got more than 20 marks and three students got less than 20 marks. So basically this is our table. Now we will perform aggregate function on this table. So just see here. All right. So our first aggregate function is count. So count function generally works for to count how many rows in particular table. So how to use? See here. Select count. Wait a minute. Select count. And we need to find out total rows. That's why I mentioned the star here. From student records 10 this is our table name so this particular query is used just execute this query see here there are total six entries in our table right so generally this command is work on when there is large number of data set or large entries are available in data set right so at that time these commands will be helpful for calculating total entries now this count command is also used with where clause just execute our table here, right? This is our table. Now you need to find out how many students got greater than 20 marks. Okay. So how to find out? See here. Select. So just execute this query again. Select count star from student records. Okay. Now used where clause here. Where. And we apply where clause on marks column. So marks greater than equal to 20. Okay, so they return uh, particular students who got greater than 20 marks, their count. Okay, control shift enter. See here, 
दे रिटर्न द काउंट मीन्स हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स गॉट डी ग्रेटर दैन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स सो टोटल थ्री स्टूडेंट्स आर देअर दे गॉट ग्रेटर दैन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स एज पर अवर डेटा टेबल डेटा सेट राइट नाउ नेक्स्ट सो जस्ट एक्सिक्यूट दिस क्वेरी अगेन ओके नाउ दिस काउंट ऑफ एग्रीगेट फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो यूज विथ ग्रुप बाय पर्टिक्युलर कॉलम और ग्रुप बाय क्लॉज मीन्स सी हियर ग्रुप बाय क्लॉज जनरली वर्क ऑन दी सपोज ब्रांच कॉलम ओके सो ग्रुप बाय क्लॉज रिटर्न हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट एंड हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर फ्रॉम आई टी डिपार्टमेंट दैट्स वाई वी यूज फॉर काउंट विथ ग्रुप बाय ओके फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट पर्पज सो हाउ टू यूज सी हियर सिलेक्ट ब्रांच विल अप्लाय दिस पर्टिक्युलर ग्रुप बाय क्लॉज ऑन ब्रांच सिलेक्ट ब्रांच ओके एंड वी विल काउंट द ब्रांच मीन्स हाउ मेनी फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर एंड हाउ मेनी फ्रॉम आई टी ओके सो काउंट स्टार फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट रेकॉर्ड टेन ओके एंड ग्रुप बाय वी ग्रुप बाय अ पर्टिक्युलर स्टूडेंट्स एज पर द ब्रांच राइट सो दिस इज सिलेक्ट काउंट विथ ग्रुप बाय क्लॉज सो जस्ट एक्सिक्यूट दिस कमांड सी हियर देर आर टोटल As per our database, there are total three students are from computer department and three students are from IT department, right? So they will return the count as per their branch. Okay, so that's why we use count with group by clause. Group by means they group the particular student as per their branch, right? So in this way, count command have used. Now the next one is sum. So sum function, see here. Sum function generally used in SQL for calculate the sum of all selected column. Okay, if you as per your problem statement, if you want to perform the sum of the particular marks of the student, so at that time the sum functions have use and it works on the numerical fields only. Okay, now see here. Suppose we need to uh, calculate. See here. Okay, so we need to calculate sum of this marks column. Okay, total uh, sum of this marks of the student. So how to cal calculate? See here, select sum. Mm, wait a minute, select sum. So on which column you need to perform sum on marks column? Okay, so in bracket mention the marks. Select sum of marks on which table from student. records 10 right so just execute this command see here they display the sum of all the marks from this particular table right now next so we again use this sum function with where clause also means suppose we need to find out sum of the particular marks which got greater than 20 okay see here this is our table Now we need to calculate sum of greater than twenty marks means sum of thirty plus twenty six plus twenty nine for this uh, particular purpose, right? So how to execute? See here. You just execute this uh, particular command here. Select sum of marks from student records ten, and we here we used where clause where marks greater than equal to twenty. Okay, so the Calculate the sum only for greater than twenty marks. So execute this command. See here, those student got greater than twenty marks, and they calculate the sum of that particular marks. The sum is eighty five, right? Now again, so this sum again we will used with group by column. Okay, means computer department students how many total marks, and IT department students how many having total marks, right? So for that purpose again we will use sum with group by clause. so just see here how to use select uh, wait a minute right select sum of marks okay from student record 10 where marks greater than equal to 20 okay and you need to group by this particular student which got greater than 20 marks with their branch okay so just see here mm, wait a minute okay group by
as per their branch column right so just execute this command so it's easy to run see here so here computer department students having total marks 59 means greater than 20 marks they calculate the sum of only greater than 20 marks and it department students having 26 marks right so in this way sum function is also with used with group by clause right now next the next aggregate function is average so average generally used for calculate the average value of that particular column okay and average function is work on the non null values only so just see here so as per our table just execute this command again Mm, wait a minute see this is our table now we need to calculate average of this marks column okay so how to calculate see here select so here we used average and our column name is marks okay average function apply on the marks column from student records 10 okay so they calculate the average of the marks column so just execute this command see here the average of marks column is 23.00 so they calculate average now the next aggregate function is max and min so maximum function generally used for to calculate largest value or to find out largest value in particular column and minimum function generally work on to find out minimum or smallest value in particular column okay now just see here suppose we need to find out uh, see here suppose in this marks column we need to find out highest marks of the student okay and again we need to find out lowest marks of the student so how to find out see here just execute here select our fun aggregate function is max which is apply on the marks column right marks from table name student records 10 okay so they find out maximum marks of the student so just execute this command see here maximum marks is 30 in particular table now again we need to find out minimum marks of the student so just execute this command see here and at the place of max just rename here mean okay select minimum marks from the student records so again just execute this command see minimum marks is 60 right so in this way this aggregate functions have work like count function return count of the total entries in table they used with where group by all these clause then uh, average function return the average of the particular column maximum and minimum find out maximum value in column and minimum value in column okay and sum function return the sum of the particular marks so in this way this aggregate functions have work hope so you understood this all aggregate function with practical demonstrations thank you keep learning